Uh, but Austin was definitely that and much more. Uh, an ace, no doubt about it. Um, that's going to lead us straight into the bumps, ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday, Sienna. Allison oh, Kay. Happy birthday This to weekend, them, happy sure. birthday to you. Best Having thing. a chance at the NWA title on Saturday. Woo! Check the pre-show, HBC pre-show, to find out our thoughts on this uh, eventful night. Facts on facts. Um, Interesting. Did you see Thunder Rose's tweet to Allison K, where Allison K had written uh, to Thunder Rosa because Thunder Rosa was defending the NWA title against a non-NWA woman on AEW. Yep. Nah. Thunder Rosa, yeah. Thunder Rosa threw some shade there. Love Ooh. it. Fucking love and they Thunder threw Rosa. it back. And 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 and, and Sienna Allison K, she served it back too. So that's that's something interesting. That's something that we can potentially see moving forward. And that's already a feud that carries some type of history already behind it. So that's beautiful. Yeah, I could definitely yeah, watch let's, them. Let's, let's, yo, why don't we get them two into Bloodsport? I'd love to see that shit. I, Sienna's done Bloodsport before. I, I know. Mean, we've seen yeah. it live. We've yeah. seen it live. But imagine yeah. Sienna versus Thunder Rosa at Bloodsport. <laughs> I can to see that shit. Atlantic City, though. Not in fucking oh. Indianapolis. Let's get it done. Let's get it back to the East Coast. Come on. And me sala. <clears throat> yeah. Um, aces, ladies and gentlemen. We mentioned Austin. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin, an ace of back in the day. Um, let's talk aces of today. Um, today. Uh, Cody what? Rhodes ended AW Dynamite yesterday by telling Darby Allen, who's been stalking him like a creeper, right? Letting him know. It's not creepy. That he may want the title, but he will never have it because he is the ace in the hole. He's the one that's carrying the ship. And to some degree, he is not wrong. He is not wrong. Think about what he's done with that title. Think about the opportunities he's given to others. Think about how he's managing the company and at the same time, his on-screen persona. Think about his wife. Yeah. Think about his think, wife. Think about you know, her. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thought about it. Think about her again. <laughs> you, gonna, listen, you look like you're pondering to say something. So go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because you couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so here's the deal. I, we're at a point in this company where the company needs to look towards the future to like establish like a name that's going to it's going to kind of carry the company beyond Cody Rhodes. Like, we have to acknowledge that this company is going to always be driven by the Rhodes and, and Omega and the Bucks, right? Like, this is always going to be their playground. But we've got to, like, establish, like, credible other guys that can really fill out the roster. Like, a guy like Brian Cage will always be credible because he's a, f- he's, he's a freak, right? He's huge, and he just looks like a monster, right? Um, Lance Archer, right, just will always be threatening right like so we need to establish credibility in some of the smaller guys and one guy that's gotten a lot of credibility lately is darby allen all right darby allen's got that shit with steve-o going off he he does that thing uh the, the skateboard thing and and the vignettes that he does on the side very dark very shady there comes a point in the time in time in a company where, where you have to become the franchise right and, and that kind of history of being the franchise, that kind of history of being the icon might get you stung by Sting. In a very interesting turn of events, WWE has released kind of like Sting from his contractual bullshit because it expired or some other point blank being is that Sting can be available for AEW. And it would be incredible. For us to see another manager, maybe with a little bit more face paint coming by and showing Darby. Darby already has the brooding shit down pat. They never have to come. Like, Sting never even has to be within five feet of the ring. He could always, he could be a backstage just like presence that's just in the shadows. With the backstage face presence, paint. yes. Ace, you know though? I mean? like, like, mm, so, 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 so listen. That, that sounds all fine and dandy, and I understand you. You know, you're a sting homer. You're, you're, you know, <laughs> he's a sting. What? <laughs> homer. He's a fan. He's a sting lover. You know what I mean? Like sting is whoa, his whoa, favorite whoa. wrestler. Like I, I understand it. 
But exactly you scared thought, so. me for a while because I thought you were insinuating that Sting was going to go after the TNT title. And that's why I was going to shut this shit yeah. down. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Down. But, but I think it, it wouldn't be bad to see Sting with Darby. <clears throat> but I think AEW is going a little too far with so many managers for these talents. Yes, I understand that they, they just, just took credibility to be built. But someone like Darby Allen, that the entire time since AEW's um, start, He's been given credibility. He's had amazing matches versus many of the of the talents, including John Moxley, right? And I think this is another step. I can see him winning the title. I think this is the reason why Cody's coming after him that much. To make the feud possible, to add to the storyline, so that when he does win the baby face Darby Allen, sitting up there all lonely, painting his face, it's a beautiful story to be told. And I will say, his vignettes are dope. It's different. It's something that you don't usually see. Like you rarely this week, see people with Steve-O hurting themselves in promos for no reason. I mean, but not only that, but the darkness of, of the promo, like the car he got into that <clears throat> said, you know, a uh, uh, face of the company, some shit like that. And then you have the, you know, Steve-O as, as uh, Cody Rhodes and running him over. <laughs> like, yo, it's wild. It's wild. And it was a silent funny film. Stuff. Funny, funny stuff. And it was stuff. a silent film. I don't understand it. <laughs> It was wild, but it was dope. It was different. I don't, I, I don't, different. I don't agree with anything you said. Only thing oh, is, really? the oh, only really? thing, well, the only thing what? is, you don't have to. You don't have to. Um, <laughs> only thing is that you I don't see this guy like as it, an you ace. Eat it. Let me, let me, let me, let me build the 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 template for you guys. We have finally, it's the year twenty fifty eight, and for some reason, everybody. In <clears throat> in wrestling today is still in their prime. Don't ask. But uh, we're at a a new platform we created where every in every promotion meets. Like if it's the Olympics in one night, one event, and there's one match where each promotion has one representative, the ace, so to speak. Who is that person? And Renato why, why would you put him in this match to represent the company in the biggest stage of them all? Renato Romano. Oh, Romano. Oh, he Roman sounds Reigns like a commentator, bro. He Roman sounds like he's Reigns, on... baby. Roman Reigns is this era's Reigns. that guy. Right? The ace. That's what you're saying. The you're ace. saying you're looking for that guy? He that guy. Was that guy. El guy. See, El see, guy. See, I, see, Victor Villa, I had a different definition for ace in the hole. Yeah, it's because you're oh. an idiot, bro. You dumb as hell, man. From from the way from the way Cody Rhodes was explaining it to Darby Allen, I think Ace in the Hole is on the most consistent performer. The yeah. one that you know no. is gonna get that match. That one match is gonna carry the card. That one match is gonna be consistent. That right. one performer that's always gonna bring it. That one performer that's always gonna bring the fans. That's always gonna have that following. That's the Ace, right? Facts. So who that? So, so who's that for what promotion? For each All promotion. I'm telling you okay. right now. And yeah. it, I, maybe if we could play with this for a little bit and, and do it as a as a That's shoot and um, also as a work, right? Because okay. I mean, obviously, you, you got you know, in, in in the work life, it's it's the guy who, who's always there, who's always ready, who's reliable and, and and responsible behind the scenes and does everything he has to do, whatever, blah blah blah. But also in the true world, now we're talking the character, his wins. Has he been heavyweight champion? Has he represented the company at the highest platform, at the highest level yet? Has he been trusted with that responsibility? Roman Reigns fits that. I, I like that. I like Roman Reigns for WWE. Maybe a John Cena back in the day, right? I guess would have probably been the yeah. answer. I mean, yeah. if, if you want to... No, if you want to talk give about us, Roman Reigns, take. Go ahead, if you want to talk about Roman Reigns, <laughs> I would argue with you and I would say Seth Rollins. Because once again, doesn't have to be the biggest draw. It's about this person can go up against the mop and it's still going to put on a great match and it's going to have a following and it's going nice. to tell a story. No doubt. NXT wise, sure. Many could have said Adam Cole, but I feel like Adam Cole's on his way out. So I'm going to give it to Johnny Gargano. He's the ace in the hole. He's the Damn. one. Oh. Listen, after what he did with old boy Damian Priest, every match Johnny Gargano has been in has been a good match. I, could, yeah, I can agree with that. He he he's made 
the match more better. And let's look at everybody that more he's better. touched and afterwards, right? Where's Tommaso Ciampa been doing after Gargano? Uh, he's, he's lost his heat. He's lost he his heat. Hurt. Heavy. He got hurt. Give him that. Uh, I want to see what like Jason does now after Gargano. But yeah, Gargano's the, the flag holder for NXT. I, I, for sure, I, I'd give him an ace. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, right. Gargano would be an ace right. for NXT. Um, you know but happened? to your point, to your point with Seth Rollins, I agree too because Seth, Roman took some time off. And, and Seth had to hold, that, hold, hold it down. And we've only been seeing, to be honest, we all, let's forget about um, Dominic for a second here and Rey Mysterio. Uh, we've, been seeing, we've been seeing uh, some consistent work on with him and shit, and maybe this one has gone a little longer, but maybe we're going to see some new shit here in SmackDown. So, I, 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 Seth Rollins, hell yeah. You have her. hope for that after we, they started SmackDown, a new season, and that's what they started with? That's what you have hope for? <laughs> <laughs> hope for I'm out now. Shout out to Pennsylvania. Stay on the WWE, let's talk about Bray Wyatt, right? Because if, lo- if you're looking for an ace... Undertaker was an ace, right? And Undertaker like, was yeah. an ace. Yeah. You got to build a new Undertaker. And I think that Bray Wyatt is that mold, right? He's the spooky, creepy guy. But he's incredibly funny and clever and witty. Like, he's so much more than just a, He can be a creep, which is even more fun. Regardless, ah. he's dynamic. And that's mm-hmm. what makes him an ace, right? And... He's a consistent performer. Like every time he's in the ring, not only is he a pretty, he's a pretty good wrestler. Like he's a really good wrestler. Um, but he and he doesn't get enough credit for that because he's not doing like moonsaults and shit, right? But, he's good at the in-ring psychology part of it. And nice. what, whatever he lacks in actual wrestling ability, which is nothing, in my opinion, <laughs> he makes up an incredible creativity and 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 structure to his matches. So, Bray Wyatt. Well, only thing I would argue with Bray Wyatt, the fiend, is that it's not his fault. But the way he's booked, unfortunately, it fell, it falls flat at times. Think about the fact that this man is a is a world champion before the fiend. Think about that he's had the moment to to go up against the Undertaker to be past that um, proverbial torch, and it didn't work out. You know, like, and I don't think it's his fault. It's, it's just a lack of continuity that we see in the programming. That's what it comes down to. And, and it's not his fault. Nah, definitely. He should be an ace. He should be an ace. I don't think, I don't think he'll, he's not the newest, he's not the next dead man, but I think he will stand out, maybe not as long as Undertaker did, and maybe he won't be as popular as Undertaker did. But for this era, I know little villain. Is gonna be thinking that the fiend is his undertaker, so to speak, uh, years years from now. Um, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna push it around to to to. Uh, push it good. Push let's, it. Let's, then I got a name for you. You Ooh. you you said Cody is the ace. I think right now Cody is the number one guy in AEW today because of the I can. You can tell he's the boss. He, he comes out every week. He puts out bangers. And he, pyro he, every time he, has he doesn't. Business. He doesn't trash his opponents when he's when he's cutting promos and shit. Too. He's still bigging them up at the same time that he's cocky as fuck and still doing push-ups in the middle of the match. Love all of it. So it's hard. It's hard to to say Cody's not the ace and maybe give it to guys like Jericho. But then there's guys like Jericho. That, you know, <laughs> that do shit, you know, so fucking well. And that, if that's not an ace, I don't know what is. Jericho is the ace. And, and, and what he's doing with MJF is only grooming MJF to probably be another ace uh, sooner rather than later. Fair. MJF is a very good name. It's a very good name. I just don't think he's there. <laughs> He's heard that before. This, <laughs> for this, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Let's revisit that once we see him up against Jericho. Whoa, that, whoa, Let's wait till we get the payoff. Ooh, on that. Here's a question because wait. I'm sure Kenny Omega will probably be in this, this discussion maybe years from now. Right, if we get, let's just say we get a Kenny Omega that that we've been waiting for. Right, the cleaner comes back, and now he's at that level, right, where he's competing at least to be the top guy. Right, how would you compare him with MJF? 
don't uh, know. We we got to see. We got to see yeah. where when it gets there. That's hard to tell. Hard that's to hard tell. to project if that's good if that works itself out. But I've got someone that's why are we overlooking him? He's only the AEW World Champion that put the fucking he really helped put AEW in perspective with fucking WWE in a lot of ways. Right. Me, the number one wrestler in the world. Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Moxley, right? uh, or AKA Renee's husband, but um, <laughs> Renee's <Moxley>. husband, <laughs> Mister Number One Wrestler in the World. JP's you- gonna take a shot to that. He I guess you'd call Moxley an the whole. He has not failed to perform at all, right? He's made the, the title feel important. Mm-hmm. He, he wrestles good. Man. Look what he's doing with Kingston right now. Tell me that that moment they shared in the ring was not tense. You could cut that shit with a knife. Therapeutic. Yo, Kingston when he's talking so about good. his mama, when he's talking about his mama, <laughs> yo, Kingston didn't know whether to lick himself or bite himself. He was like, yo. He turned into a macho man for a little bit. He was like, like, because he knows he couldn't touch him. It was perfect. It was great. Yo, that match is going to be... Hood, oh, real quick. Please, he was please, block. tune into our pre-show where we talk a little bit more in depth about that car we have coming up. Facts tell you what, on facts. It's going to be a big one. It's be a good one Kingston's for sure. Kingston's best matches are going to be against John Moxley. I can see that. Because I feel like they're so similar. They'll mm-hmm. go like they'll go hard off-key on each other. Mm-hmm. Back. They Brandon already know. Real. Listen, they already know. They're gonna like mischief. You need to think about you and I in acting class in school, right? Remember Back at Rutgers, we had to do a scene, and we decided, yo, we're gonna go all in, and to the point where we started fighting in the scene, and we was taking it, we were shooting, we were just shooting, but we knew what it was to the point where the teacher had to say, yo, stop, 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 because she thought it was for real. Oh, she got That's what's gonna happen this Saturday. Back. That's what's gonna happen this Saturday. These dudes know each other. They've grown together in the business. There's respect. He brought up his mother eating at his kitchen table. <laughs> like, yo, I gave your mom a promise. I yo, a guys, promise. Yo, guys, don't cut promos after that. Those, those are those are guys' last promos in the hood. Dude. That's it. It's that it's over after that. <laughs> there's, no, there's no rematch. There's no nothing. That's Ooh, it. Like, Somebody gonna, gonna die. Lit. The pre-show is gonna be lit. Yo, check out Woo! the pre-show. Woo! That's right. Before what time wait, wait, wait. is it gonna be? It's gonna be Six o'clock on Saturday. Saturday. Nah, I get it. It's gonna be nice. Get it earlier. Get that, that workout early for yeah. y'all. Get that workout yeah. early. Ooh. Check us out. Yo, how about impact? Who's the ace in the whole impact? Oh, right that's what I've been wanting to get to. So, this thing is hard. So, we're talking the guy, right? The number Not, one guy. Remember, I know in my eyes, it doesn't necessarily have to be the number one person. Right, right, right. Um, I know. Responsible I, I, I know. I got clearly, the clearly, it's him. I right? Look, I look at the clearly. ace as a utility guy. Clearly, right? it can't be anybody else. I know. It cannot. <laughs> Talk to him. There's only one guy, right? There's a guy that's been making a name for himself. Ooh. He's been working together lately, but he is very much a singular entity with a lot of charisma. Yo, he's got a lot of great ideas. He helped bring back the TNA uh, uh, pay-per-view that they had not too long ago. This, like, this guy is Ethan Page. Ethan what? Page wow. is the personality of impact and I mean that shit yo I really do believe that that kid got it he really does and yo he hey, so many bang- he does bangers but he ain't the only one and I got another name for you guys but I think you guys got it too <laughs> that's hey. the only one I, I thought you were gonna go with but wow okay I'm, I'm not bad at it. Boy, yo, I, yeah. Ethan Page is legit, yo. He doesn't get yeah. the credit he deserves. Yeah. He's in the North. He's made the in the North interesting right and, now. And, 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 and I think and I think that's where I, I, I can agree with you in the sense of like the North has been a, a formidable tag team in the re- wrestling industry. 
right? I I'll put him up against many of the talents in any promotion. Uh, but we yet to see Ethan Page on his own, like get that type of notoriety. Yes. Yes. And I think yes. that's where yes. we're headed. In impact. I think that's where we're headed. So if in we get that, then then in then impact. I would agree with you. In, in fact, right, maybe if this was a year or two ago, I would have said the ace in the hole was Tessa Blanchard. Ooh. Right? Okay, yeah. Because of based yeah. on everything, the flexibility that she had. Uh, but right now, right now, as far as impact, the most consistent performer, the person that I've seen in, in, in multiple matches and, and have been intrigued and I'm always interested. And honestly, just waiting to, to, to they push him up to the top. And that, that's the one and only, you know, Chris Bay. Like, every match he's had, even this week, versus this boy, uh, Trey Miguel, Dope match. Yo, the way he blocked dope. the kick Man. when he was at the top and then um, did a... Uh, killed it. Was always killed Yo, it this week. He reversed it. It was crazy. And, and this Trey, is a man Trey that every get... time... Before... Yeah, go ahead. Perform of that. Doesn't matter who's in the ring with. Look at the work that he did when they did the gauntlet match. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is a performer. They understand it. That's why they put him in the matches they put him in. They're gonna take Trey their time with him. him. They're trusting Trey, him Trey. To, to put people over a lot, man. He's oh, yeah. he's, he's for good reason. Um, oh, yeah. how about um one TJP? Mm -hmm. I love TJP, man. I was thinking that name too. It's just if, he hasn't held anything, right? If yeah, it, it, if 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 we're gonna go with Ace, it might be a little rough because I mean I believe a Ace has been doing it and he's, he's been getting pushed and has done some body of work already. In, has somebody work put in place? I don't I haven't seen that much work in Impact. That's crazy. Oh, like, a, you, you, but the only work, the work that he's done that's crazy. Besides the the, the funny aspect he's had with Falaba, one of our shooting right. alum, uh, the matches with him and Chris Bay have been classics. Go do yourself yeah. a favor and, and check out those matches. Chris Bay versus TJP at Impact. These boys put on a clinic. Uh, X man. Division's title run was she was dope. Crazy. Nah. Crazy. You know who's it? Who's who's an ace for uh, impact, man? Tearing it up lately, and since this person arrived, has really been doing an incredible job. Instant credibility everywhere she goes. Ooh. Oh, you said she? I was gonna say Josh Matthews, but I said she. stop. I guess it's not Josh Matthews. No. Who are you talking about, Mister? It takes a lot of strength and grace. <laughs> hang with the boys at Impact, and Jordan I know who he's Grace. talking about. I know the cameraman, right? Cameraman, no, Jordan Grace. Oh, she oh yeah, that's is... the girl he records. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, that's fair. So she <laughs> is their ace, man. She could play in the X division. She could play in the women's division. Yo, she could. She could challenge for the title. She's got yep. that instant credibility. She, she is committed to. to the craft. She's good at it. Tremendously good at it. Um. I mean, think about the matches he's had with Brian Cage. Yeah, you know what I mean. She was Fuck just in the X Division Championship. Look, look at the, the the match they had. She had with Diana Perazu. You know what I mean? Like with Tessa. Like no, no, I, yo, that's a great name. And I was gonna venture into the women because that we didn't mention any women in any of the promotions. But you know what? I think Ring of Honor let us know who their ace in the hole is. Uh, Ooh. just this past week, with you know Jordan Grace's boo, the one who'll be gracing. Her all night. Uh, Gresham. Gresham. Jonathan Gresham winning the title of the trophy. Madito, the pure yeah. tournament. About time, bro. Talk about putting in your work. Talk about consistent performer. Talk about being an ace. I'm happy for the dude. I'm excited to see what happens from here. But I hope that this is the catapult he needs to leave Ring of Honor. Because yeah. that's it. That, that, that's, Ring of Honor has a plateau, unfortunately. It's and I don't know if they're going to get up from there. Sinking ship. I like Rush from from ROH. I like um, I like uh, they have some talent. They have some, they have talent. some talent. talent. I like the company itself. It's just not producing what it used to. We know we got our boy Vincent out there still showing love, and, and Matt course, Taven is still working out there. Those red balloons still come out. I hope. Did <laughs> he? Uh, nah, yeah, it's been no, a while since we've been talking about Ring of Honor. Um, MLW though has some aces, right? Instant ace, yo. Honestly. This guy, how he doesn't have more notoriety, I will never understand. When it comes to look, this guy has it. When it and comes tires. to strength, 
this guy has it. When it comes to ability, this guy has it. And give him a microphone and let him sling it, bro. It's crazy. Alexander Hammerstone. Hammerstone tires. So incredibly underrated. I do not understand. I do not understand how he's not higher on people's radars, y'all. I really, really don't. He is um he's got a championship. Now it escapes me. Open weight, never weight, the never yeah. weight. No. Yeah, yeah, the open never weight. Um <laughs> the open never weight. <laughs> no, <laughs> never weight. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's his his game's you know on point though. You know what's interesting though about Die, the names bro. that we're throwing out there? <laughs> that you know, Alexander Hammerstone has gone to Japan and wrestled in tournaments, right? And only those up and coming, the, 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 the ones that they know could perform get invited to such things. We just found out our very own Chris Bay is about to do the same. Right. Like, it's very interesting that we're giving you names that if you look up their history, look up in their archives, it will back everything we say. We're giving you names that produce evidence. You see evidence? That's a very important factor when we're making claims. Uh, yeah. So, this is guys Mike, bro. Chris, this is guys Chris Mike. Bay, Alexander Hammerstone, definitely a name in M MOW. Uh, another name I'm going to throw in there, though, is Selena La Renta. Ooh. And I'm not just doing this because they're, you know, shooting the shalums. That just happens to be a, a, a happenstance. It's a coincidence. I'm just saying this young lady... Whenever she's on screen, whatever she has the mic in her hand, she makes magic. She knows the psychology behind the wrestling industry. She knows what to say. Listen, we've seen it live where you have a veteran like Conan try to sling it to her. And she's slinging right back. So you talk about ace in the hole. That's an ace that in the hole. That was some fun stuff that they did together. Oh, yeah. And it's, uh, not, it's not ending. She's still coming after him. <laughs> Facts. Selena, you know, oh man, Selena's tremendous, bro. Who's the ace he, in the hole? Who's the ace in the hole in the E? Women. Mm, Becky Lynch. You gotta man. start and end with the four horse women, right? Becky yeah. Lynch. Yeah. Honestly, I would say yo, I'm not even I'm not even gonna separate them. That shit. If you motherfuckers would have picked one each, like we would have been here forever for the yeah. same reason. Yo. That's so, fair. My friend. That's fair. Yeah. Like, That's fair. Yeah, the four horse women. Sasha, Sasha is the best Hell in a Cell performer that company has. Right now. Bang. Do you understand that? Do you understand what I just said, yo? McIntyre and Orton just had a banger, yo. That shit was tremendous. Slow starter. Real long burner. But really, really good match. All right? Sasha has been the most innovative wrestler in that Hell in a Cell in a very, very long time. All right? Okay. Bailey has been amazing lately. Right, she's always been a really good wrestler, but like she's became interesting on this heel run, and now we got some juice going, right? Where we got some heat here with Sasha, and oh, we got like the best storytelling she's ever had. We got Becky, no set. We got <coughs> Charlotte Flair. Like, come on, yeah, yeah. like I don't, we don't even got to talk about those two. So, like, yeah. between the four of them, these are yeah. four aces. Yo, what? Yo, yo, we need a good match right now. Go ahead, Nolly. <laughs> Of uh, an That's elite what they've done the last two years. of women. That's what they've done the, the last two years, isn't it? It's yeah. <laughs> yeah yo, go Pretty ahead. much. Yo, yo, kill it. Yo, we need someone to kill it. Go ahead. Yeah. Yo, go kill, yo, okay. Those are Come aces back, in the hole. Absolutely. Oh, what a hole. Yeah. Uh, how about NXT? How about NXT women? Mm -hmm. Rhea Ripley. Ace in the hole. Ooh. Ew. Rhea man. Ripley. Ew. 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 Big set. Ew. Yo. Ew. Yo, Candice oh, LeRae. She hasn't had much work, though. She hasn't I mean, had the she, title? She's busy. She's still busy putting people over. That's all That's she's true. been doing. That's true. That's she hasn't true. She hasn't taken, like, the, the but, strap yet. But but that's why she's an ace. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because she put people over like a motherfucker. Right? So... Then you could say... I mean, if you, if you put it like that, then, like, you're going to start including, like, Dakota Kai, right? She's putting people over left and right. Not right? to the same degree. Not to the same degree. The mm -hmm. quarter Kai has not been mentioned in the match of the year as a match of the year candidate. Candice LeRae and sure I have. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But and they and, and uh, even though they 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 still meet again, they still put on bangers. I wouldn't put Candice LeRae there. Uh, Io Shirai though for sure. For Io sure, Shirai for, for sure. sure. Ooh, yeah. what about Oscar? How y'all feel about Oscar there? Damn. I, yeah, she has to be an ace because she's the workhorse and and yeah. 
She's the number one talent that you talk about after you're done talking about the four horsewomen. She's the fifth horsewoman. <laughs> That's true. The one, the she's one the honorable Asuka, mention. <laughs> the one problem with Asuka that I find, and, and I, I, it wasn't a problem in NXT, but for some reason it's a problem on Raw SmackDown, right? Language I barrier? wonder why. Not so much the language barrier, but the promo, right? Like everybody we've mentioned thus far can carry a promo. They can oh, use some right. magic on the mic. Io Shirai falls in this category a little bit too, but she does put on some classics, so it is what it is. But Asuka, like, you have to be careful who you put her up against because it could be a hit or miss. Not that the ring work is, gonna, is not going to be phenomenal. It's just is it going to really go over. And that's unfortunately what's happened the last couple of years. They don't know how to book her. So, mm. but she definitely, her name definitely deserves just on the fact of everything she's done and what she does to this day. Like, you know, Asuka's going to perform no matter what. I'm going to throw another name out there. Not throw that name. Um, I know, WWE, you. another ace. I doesn't necessarily have to be a main event person, yeah. Dolph Ziggler. No, never mind. I'm <laughs> That's Actually, the Joker. No, no, <laughs> no, but um, doesn't have to be in the main event picture, right? Right. Our truth. Our truth has mm. been consistently amazing. For a very long time in the role that he's given. Whatever role he's given, he excels in. And right now, he's got this bullshit 24-7 shit that he has made incredibly entertaining. That's parlayed him into Raw Talk and Smack Talk or whichever show that he's on. And he does a great job there, right? Because he just he's the guy that you can throw out there. He's the one that popped Brock Lesnar, right? Heyman was like, make him laugh. Don't worry about it, yo. There's no script, whatever. And, yo, he did it. That's that Made guy. him laugh, yo. Yo, and that's Lesnar that's said that. he wants to do a work with our truth. He wants a program with our truth. He said it. He has Can said it. Man. And listen, you can't be the 48th um, time, you know, 24 7 European hardcore champion. You got like 75 US by now. United States. You know what I mean? Like, our nah, truth, I can see the ace in the hole. But I'm surprised we haven't mentioned one name when it comes to ace in the hole and the E. One name. The one name that is synonymous with champion right now. And that's Randy Orton. He's a 16-time champion. I mean, he's a 16-time champ for a goddamn reason. That's and amazing. yes, his knock has always been he has to be motivated. But I once again, I can't blame him for shitty booking and shitty writing. You, The talent needs to be motivated too. Why do you think they pay coaches so much goddamn money on these sports teams? And it's scripted, well, like what the fuck? because they need to be motivated. They need to be given some context to feed off of. That's why they get paid all that money. Because these these men and women are talented. Clearly, they made it to the league, but they need a coach to get them to that point. And unfortunately, if what they come up for him is not eventful, I can see him going in the shadows sometimes. But every time he's on, and every time he's called upon. Even to this day, winning the 16-time champion, none of us said we hated it. And this is off of Drew, Drew, Drew McIntyre's first run, and none of us said we hated it. We respect the fact that Randy Owens at the top again. And he's going to continue being at the top. And look at what name they're throwing at him now while he's at the top. They're going to give another run at it, The Fiend. The Fiend. This is a, a, third, and, a second time around. And they tease, third they time tease around. the Miz. They tease the men's cashing in. <laughs> oh, I got excited. That's I'm just so a, that, that's that's a great turn of events that um that Miz gets the money in the bank while Orton's reign is happening. Uh I wish we could fucking find Miz Girl somewhere. Um shout <laughs> out to Miz Girl on the next shooting the ish.